Hi folks, Grid Sentry here with the first video in a series of cyber security and ethical hacking tutorials. A lot of friends and colleagues have been recently asking me to create a video about this particular topic, thinking it's a complex process, but I'm going to show you in this video, it's not, it's really quite simple. I'll be showing you how to create a virtual machine setup using VirtualBox, Hunix and another Linux distribution of your choosing to route all your internet traffic from that Linux VM through the Tor network via the Hunix gateway. Any links that are used in the video today will be posted in the description below. Just a quick one before we start, for anyone who thinks this process will make you completely untraceable on the internet, I'm afraid I've got bad news because it won't. There's a number of considerations to be taken into account to achieve truly anonymous browsing because more often than not you'll have to trust a third party somewhere along the line that you have no control over. I'm talking about things like Tor entry guards and exit nodes and also using the Hunix setup in this video in conjunction with a VPN regardless of whether that is Tor tunneling through the VPN or routing your VPN traffic over Tor. If there's enough demand I will create a video on that subject in the future but for now feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I'll try and answer them. Without further ado, let's get into it. First thing we need to do is download Oracle VirtualBox. So go ahead and download and install it. Once you've done that, we need to download the Hunix appliance for VirtualBox. So go ahead and click the download link here. There are a couple of brief instructions, um, but I'll go through the process quickly anyway. Once you've downloaded the Hunix appliance, we need to import it into VirtualBox. If you open VirtualBox and go to File, Import Appliance, and then just browse to the file you downloaded from the website. If you go through this wizard, it's fairly self-explanatory. All the settings are configured for you in the appliance. Shouldn't be much to do. Once the appliance has finished importing, you'll see that it's created two virtual machines. One is the Hunix gateway that establishes the connection to the Tor network and the other is a Hunix workstation that's already pre-configured to route its traffic through the aforementioned gateway. At this point, if all you wanted to do was browse the internet through the Tor network and as opposed to using tools and sending the traffic from those tools over the Tor network, you could just start both of these virtual machines and once the connection's been established by the gateway, which I'll cover in a second, you can just open a web browser on the workstation and you're good to go. However, today in this video, we're going to take it a step further and use another Linux virtual machine. In my case, this Backbox machine here that I've pre-installed. But you could use Kali or even Stock Ubuntu if you like. So go ahead and download your distro of choice and import or install it into a virtual machine in VirtualBox. I'll just cover the Backbox download page here. You can actually just set the donation page to zero if you want to download it for free and then just click the download button as normal. Just a note guys, Backbox is a fantastic distribution. It has a large community following and a lot of people have put a lot of effort into it. It is my penetration testing distro of choice, both at work and at home. So I would highly recommend donating and supporting the guys for all the fantastic work they've put in so far. It's now time to fire up the Hunix gateway. So I'm going to power that on. At the same time, I'll also power on my Backbox machine. Once the Hunix gateway has started, you will see a little yellow clock down here which will eventually change to the icon we see there once the connection has been established. It's actually the time sync monitor but it's quite a good way to see that the network has been connected and the machine is talking to the internet via the Tor network. Next we're going to change the default user password on the Hunix gateway. To do that just open up the terminal and type passwd the current password is change me by default and just enter yourself a nice strong password in there instead. And the next thing we're going to do 
is an update of the machine. So do a sudo apt update. And once that's finished, I'll do a sudo apt grade. Once that's finished, I would advise heading into your Linux VM and doing the same thing just to make sure everything's the latest version it should be. If I open a web browser in my Backbox machine and head over to the Tor project check page. You can see there that we're not using Tor at the moment. Now we need to go into the virtual machine settings and we're going to head down to the network section we're going to change the attach to box to internal network if in the drop down box Hunix is not already selected just click it and select it this is an internal virtual box network that was actually created when we imported the Hunix appliance so we'll ok that then we go to our network settings now that will differ depending on which distro you're using. You know, it could be the slash etc slash network slash interfaces file that you need to edit manually in a text editor. Or if you're using Backbox like myself, you can just do it through the GUI this way. So if we head to the IP version 4 settings, change that to manual. And what we're going to do, we're going to give it a static address on the same network as the Humix gateway. So the IP address would be 10.152.152.11 Subnet mask is going to be 255.255.192.0 And the gateway is going to be 10.152.152.10 And of course that is indeed the address of the Humix gateway We're just going to put that in as the DNS server as well And then what we're going to do, we're going to disconnect this network connection. I'm going to reconnect it. Now if I head back to my Tor check page and do a refresh, we can see that we are indeed now routing our traffic through the Humix gateway and onto the Tor network. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see future videos in this series. Thanks very much. Grid Sentry, over and out.